Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we're checking out something called Meshcapade. Now Meshcapade is kind of like a combination of metahumans and Mixamo animation, maybe a little bit of deep motion AI animation as well. And what it enables you to do is basically create and animate digital humans in your browser. Although it doesn't have to be your browser. This one actually came to my attention during GDC. Unfortunately, a lot of things came to my attention during GDC, so this is a little late in coverage, but it is a cool tool, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. Just head on over to meshcapade.com in your browser, and you will be greeted with this site. Now, I've actually logged in uh, using my Gmail credentials. You've got a couple of different options in that regard. You'll also notice there is an installable app available as well, but I'm going to stick to just the web for today's demonstration. And what you see in front of you, this is a digital human that was created. You've got basically video game style sliders over here. Uh, so things like height. So you can change the height of your character over here. Uh, you can change the gender of your character over here. So you can go obviously male to female or non-binary. You can switch your units between metric and imperial. You can change your waist size by sliding things here. By the way, you can really break things if you uh, if you go to the extremes on these things. Uh, just it's something you want to be aware of. And then you go down here to experiment. You got a lot of other different options here as well. So if you really care about your ankle girth, <laughs> you have ankle girth control settings here. Uh, so yeah, you basically can create your exceptionally ugly character right here. Uh, you do have some ability to change it what and how they're dressed like. So let's go ahead and put this guy in some clothing. Uh, you're going to notice it reskinned him completely. Or of course, we could go back to where we began. Now, interestingly enough, this texture set does appear to be broken. I'll show you that later on. So here is our lovely character. Uh, all ready to go. Now, the next thing you'd probably want to do is set up some animations on this guy. So come over here to the motion section uh, and you can pick basic things. So I could just go ahead and throw him into a T-pose, which makes a lot of sense. If you're exporting this out to a model uh, or to a modeling tool, and you're going to do the animation yourself. Send it out as a T-pose, as an A-pose, as a U-pose, whichever you wish. You can decide how the hands are controlled as well. So you can have them together or flat like so. But what you're going to probably want to do is apply an animation. You can do something very simple like walking. So let's say walking. And we say walk, it's going to go find walking animations available for us. This can take a couple of seconds here. So we can put a walk cycle on here. So this is kind of like a shruggy walk cycle going on like so. So there is our character wandering around in said world, walking kind of aimlessly. Now you're going to notice there are a ton of animations actually available here. So let's say uh, cartwheel. So I'm going to search for cart here and you're going to find a variety of cartwheeling animations. Again, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but this is going to give you like that whole um, again, what you use Mixamo to do these days, you could do a lot of it here. So you got a lot of animations controlled in here as well. Uh, you can also have it controlled if it follows the avatar or not with the camera. So you can have it like a fixed camera setup as well. Uh, and then let's do finally, let's say, um, push up. So there's a push up off the ground option available here. Let's go find one of these right there. And all right. I don't know why I'm getting that for push. Let's do push up, see what we get here. So there are a ton of animations available. I'm not entirely certain uh, the, the extent of the library, but it's found most of what I've gone looking for. There you can see our guy pushing himself up off the ground. So we'll go with that as our setting here. Uh, you could also do a couple of other things. Instead of uh, having it come in this way, you could actually bring it in from a video. So this is where it gets very deep motion like. So you could come in here, pick a video as a starting point like this guy, and then it will go ahead and create uh, the animation from that video. Uh, and it also creates the character. You can also do the same thing. You can create your character uh, from the, uh, the image you upload. All this is going to do is set the pro proportions to match the character that you uploaded though. Not much more. It doesn't pull in the textures or anything else like that, but you can upload your own photos or you can scan yourself right here if you wish. And again, if you're doing animations, you can send up animations via an MP4 file that you upload, uh, or you can use one of their samples to check it out. And then once we're done with that, we'll go back to our editor. Here is our fellow. Let's go ahead once again. Actually, let's, let's go with that one, ballet. So let's get this poor fellow do some ballet dancing. So ballet, and then uh, let's get that loaded in. So, all right, here we go. So here is our guy doing ballet dancing. All right, so we can take this guy now, uh, and if we're happy with everything we've got here, we can go ahead and save it. Uh, Okay, sure. And now you're gonna notice this is using up credits. We got 1900 credits. I'll explain how credits work in just a second, but we'll go ahead and create our avatar. Now this is all done on the server side and it can take a little bit of time for it to work. Now this one actually worked right away, which is nice. And then now you're gonna notice this guy is in our vault. So here he is in the vault right there. And we're just gonna go ahead, click this guy right here and then do a download. Now this is gonna give us a couple of options. It's gonna give us FBX 
or OBJ. Now, OBJ is a static mesh format. You're not going to get any anima animations on that one, I don't believe. Whereas FBX, you can choose between Unreal Format or Unreal with no blend shapes. Now, Unreal with no blend shapes is what you want. Otherwise, you're going to get literally a key every frame. Makes this guy pretty useless in other tools. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll grab that guy. Now, this can actually batch up. So it could run for a second and then say, oh, uh, we're too busy. And then it will give us a little warning up here, or it will go ahead and download it straight up as an FBX file. I'm going to pause it while it does this. Okay, so our character is downloaded. Let's get out of full screen here. We'll head on over to Blender now. We will sacrifice a default cube because of course we will. And now we'll do a file import and we'll pull in that FBX file. So that guy is available in downloads. Uh, it is this guy right here. Let's just do a couple of settings here. So uh, ignore bone orientation. We want to make sure that the animations are brought in. Offset is good. Okay, everything else is good here. We'll go ahead and import our FBX in. And here is our guy. Now, one of the things you're going to notice, there's a couple of weird bones here. It's almost always the hands. And I do not know why they come in weird. So if we go over here, switch over to edit mode. We'll grab this guy right here. See, I key hand gun. If you want, you can basically just grab that bone, the, the weird bone, and just do a scale zero one or something like that. You can scale them down. Same here, scale zero one. Uh, and then again, this other hand bone, scale zero one. Like so, uh, it's not gonna impact anything. And it looks like he's got a giant schlong bone, scale zero one, and now it looks even worse. Now it looks like he's got a small schlong bone. Okay, so what you're gonna notice here uh, is our animation is here. So let me get out of edit mode like so. Uh, you're gonna notice there are a lot of frames of animation. So it looks like we have 1200 frames of animation. So let's do the full suite and we will go ahead and run this. So here is our fellow uh, doing ballet. <laughs> so uh, yeah, now one thing you may notice right away is uh, our guy does not have any textures. And this is uh, going to be true of all of them. So here we are in texture mode, no textures at all. So what we're gonna do is head on back over here. Uh, so let's go back to the vault. Uh, Oops, open in editor. All right, so we're gonna go back to our guy right here. And you're gonna notice I go over to the textures pack here and we go ahead, this is the guy that applied. Just click this guy and it will do a multi-download of all of the files there. Now I've had some of these come in where they were like zero bytes in size. All right, so these ones seem to be fine. Okay, so this texture pack seems to be broken right now. Just one of those things to be aware of. So our files are all there. So what I'm going to just do is come back here. We will switch over to the, um, Text, is it shade, no, shader editor, I always mix that up in Blender now. Uh, pick our model over here, and then you're gonna notice we have a pretty simple network here. We got a, um, a normals map set up, and then all we're going to do is come back over here, grab our diffuse, our normal, and I think our is roughness, but I'm not 100% certain on that one. So here we go. So now we've got our normal map here. Ping that into the color of the, you know, normal map channel like so we'll drop this into the color of our base color channel and we will drop this into the color of our roughness channel like so so there you go we do have uh, the ability to pretty easily uh, texture these guys but they do not come out of the box texture just one of those things to be aware of uh, i don't think you notice the world is a little bit on the dark side let's go over here and we'll just brighten the world up a little bit let's go there so you can see it a little better all right so there is our character he is fully animated so let's go back here to the timeline and check this guy out in its fullness so obviously you could use this in whichever engine you wish let's go back to the beginning of our animation so here is our fellow doing some ballet dancing <laughs> and yeah now one thing you may notice is that and i don't get this this is only when you import it into the blender uh into the blender into blender the animations come across really slow when you bring them into unreal engine or um say godot the animations look just fine so what i'm just going to do is just quickly come here uh go over to the uh, dope sheet view like so scale them in a little bit like so and then let's just grab them move them over here and now you're going to notice our animation is a lot shorter let's go back here over to the timeline once again and i don't know why it's only in blender the animations come in very very slow so this is a very very easy and quick way to speed them up and let's go ahead and see our ballet dancer now in action in all its glory let's hide the bones like so so that is, uh, yeah, you can use this guy, get 3D models out, variety of different animations available. I may have picked possibly the worst animation I could get. But yeah, gives you an idea of what this character is capable of. Uh, now, you may have noticed I used credits along the way. That is definitely a part of it. Your account gets a certain number of credits. I believe it's 2,000 when you start off. And you may be wondering, okay, how do I get more credits? Well, you can actually get... Uh, 
more credits. So if you use them, if your balance drops below 500, they will automatically top it up by 500 each day. So 500 will give you the ability to upload a video for uh, getting the animation out as an example. Or you can buy more credits and it's 500, 500 credits for five euros. So if you want to spend money on this, you can do so, but you don't have to. Basically, you get 2,000 to start off and then you get, again, uh, 500 a day top up after you go below that 500. So really, it's only if you're using this to make a lot of stuff that you're going to have to start paying for it. Now, you may also be wondering, okay, well, what about the legality of this? That's a good question. And we're going to cover that right there. Uh, you check this out yourself. This is the terms of service. But I think the part that is relevant is the avatar results section right here. So uh, it's provided in a file format, customer area of the industry. Uh, and then customer may freely use the avatar results and they're provided as is, no warranty for fitness, for specific purpose or technical capability. Uh, Metric paid uh, disclaims all warranty if customer adopts, adapts, or combines avatar results with third-party materials or products. So it just it does appear that you can use it. Just check the, check the terms of service out for yourself. But again, this is meshkapaid.com. Uh, it's an interesting tool. It's got a ton of different animations and you could use this just to get the animations out specifically because the, uh, the human creator side of it, this part of it, uh, it isn't really overwhelmingly, like it doesn't hold a candle to meta human in terms of actual capabilities or functionality, just in terms of the design process. That is somewhat meta human -y in nature, but you could create comedically monsters pretty fast here. Uh, but the texturing, very, very simple. You literally just have these packs and you have to apply them yourself or, you know, you're going to have to add your own clothing or whatever. So I think the biggest thing that this tool would be used for is once again, the, the, um, the motions here. So let's say, uh, waving. So we got a number of different uh, animations available there. Uh, so you could use this guy to create relatively simple human mo um, models that you could just export out immediately. But I think, again, where this guy really shines is on the animation side of things. They come out as standard FBX, so you can get them into, again, Unreal Engine, uh, Unity, Godot, Blender, whatever. Uh, just do be sure that when you do download it, pick without blend shapes or you're going to get just useless for keyframes for the most part. But yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting tool. Uh, it's completely free to check out. Again, you get those 2000 credits and if you start using it, uh, you can use it at a very slow trickle or you can pay them some money. Honestly, a pretty fair business proposition too, in my opinion. Let me know what you think of Meshkapade. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.